Yeah, well. Uh, uh, um, what are you doing? Uh, I'm pretending to be blind so I can hear like Daredevil. What? Yeah, uh, I read it somewhere in a book. Yeah, I'm like 90% sure that's not how it works. Well, how else am I gonna learn how to fight like Daredevil? Dude, I literally have a series where I teach you how to fight like a superhero. Oh yeah, uh, I forgot about that. Um, do you think you could mimic his like, you know, superpowers too? Kind of like how you mimic chi blocking? I actually think we might be able to pull that off. What's up guys, it's the only ninja wearing aviators and a superhero hat, and welcome to the Modern Ninja, the only channel that combines nerd culture and martial arts with my particular style of flair, or cringe, I mean, it could definitely be described as cringe. Now, I am a huge Marvel fan, specifically the MCU fan. I have seen literally every movie in theaters since The Incredible Hulk, yeah I know. That makes me old, I don't care, I'm still proud. And in the Fight Like a Superhero series, I've covered some of the best characters in the MCU movies. But what about the TV shows? No, we don't talk about Iron Fist. Yes, exactly, Daredevil. Now, you may be thinking, um, didn't you already do him? And yeah, you're correct, I did do this, but that video is only talking about his fighting style in season one, and it's very, very out of date. So let's break down the fighting style for the devil of Hell's Kitchen himself by the end of the show this time. Now there are a couple goals that we have today. We need to figure out a base to work off of. Basically what his fighting style's, you know, baseline is. We need to somehow mimic his super senses. <laughs> Are you serious? We need to be super stealthy, and we need to use his weapons, of course. But starting off, the base. Now there's an argument that several different styles could be used as the base. He's been seen boxing so many times in this series, and kickboxing would also be a really easy choice. But I actually don't want to use that. What I'm going to suggest is actually Krav Maga as the base for Daredevil's fighting style, and here's why. We see Daredevil put his hands on tons and tons of people, oftentimes multiple people at the same time. And this can be seen in many of the various hallway scenes that he just barrels through people. And in modern times, kickboxing is generally used as a combat sport more often than not. Now, does that make it ineffective? No. Absolutely not, but that does mean it is typically meant and trained for fighting one person in the ring with rules and a judge. And that's not saying that it's not helpful, but we gotta get something a little bit more uh, hardcore for our boy Matt. Krav Maga is the military self-defense and fighting system made for the Israeli Defense Force. So this style right off the bat is about real life ending fights, ending them quickly, and taking lives if you need to. Not that Daredevil takes lives but you get the point. It comes from a combination of Aikido, boxing, judo, karate, and wrestling. Most of which I've done videos about in some form or fashion, so definitely check that out if you're interested. But all that means is that it's well-rounded with stand-up and ground techniques combined. It even has roots in the experience of Emrich Lightenfield. I honestly don't have to know how to pronounce his name, but that's my best bet. And his years of like fighting on the streets. So it is incredibly efficient at real-world situations. Now that we've got a solid base for Daredevil, let's add in some of the techniques and unique things that he adds to his fighting style. For example, his stealth. This one is super easy, like, like really, really easy. He's literally trained by ninjas. So obviously ninjutsu is the answer. This is the strategy and tactics of unconventional warfare, guerrilla warfare, and espionage. So this will teach you all you need to know to disappear into the night just like Daredevil. And then you can sneak up on whoever you need to sneak up on for whatever your Daredevil needs are. And of course, this is the modern ninja after all, so you know I've already done a couple videos talking about what ninjutsu is if you need more info about it. So I'ma save your breath and your time and move on to those flashy kicks he does. There are a couple routes I could go with the task of adding in his kicks, but Taekwondo seems to be the best option. TJB is characterized by punching and kicking techniques with an emphasis on putting your foot 
in someone else's face. Just absolutely disrespectful. It also is keen for spinning, jumping, and all around fast feet. But you are not really wanting the basics. All you're really going to need is the more advanced kicks. Things like the tornado kicks, the 720s, 540s, and all of the other, you know, higher skill level kicks because for some reason, Daredevil's super realistic fighting style still really likes throwing 540s. So, I don't know. Blame Daredevil, that's that's all I can give you. For his weapons, it's another obvious one that I've used on this series probably way too much. Daredevil's weapon is just the cane for, that blind people use. It's his literal blind cane that he uses that is modified for a bunch of, you know, combat scenarios. So that means we need a stick fighting art. And you know what's the best stick fighting art? <laughs> I mean, there might be other really good ones out there, but it's definitely not the one that Hollywood uses, so we're going with Kali. Kali, also known as Arnis and Eskrima and Filipino martial arts, all focuses on weapons. They actually teach weapons first in many of the schools before learning any hand or foot techniques. They also have a focus on real life situations, meaning that it's a perfect art to add on to our cross base. Now Dando relies on dodging almost exclusively, almost to a fault if I'm being really honest. I really wish he would block more, but whatever, he dodges. It is what it is. And obviously that's because he has the whole hearing thing, right? Mm, call it a gift came with the red suit and i'm not sure how you would make that perfectly real unless you hit the like and subscribe button legend has it that that can possibly awaken some hidden power but if it doesn't work you might be able to simulate it dodging is a very vital crucial part of this style so any practitioner studying this form will have several skill points slotted in that tree i mean hakido has been made famous by its ability to flow with opponents attacks and use their weight against him i know it's technically part of prop already but due to how how good Daredevil is at dodging, I'd add this extra training on top anyway. And the second part might actually surprise some of you guys. You need to spec into point sparring. Yeah, I know. Some people just really hate point sparring for some reason, and I get it, but it's the truth. Point fighters are fast. I'm talking lightning quick. They are able to identify the tell of any opponent in record time and react to it. For those that don't know, a tell is something you do before you throw a specific technique, like rearing back before you throw a punch or leaning into your kick. So yeah, maybe you can't see everything at once, but if you can recognize what your enemy is gonna do before they do it, and you are fast enough to dodge it and able to dodge it, then I think that's you know, cl as close as we're gonna get. And when you mix all that together, you should be able to come up with a daredevil fighting style that is almost perfect, minus, you know, the actual superpowers. Want me to do another character? Well, let me know which one down in the comments below. And of course, check out my Patreon if you're interested in any of the shout outs or perks or anything like that. It would really uh, like help me make better content for you guys. So it would be awesome. But until next time, my name's DJ Moore. This is The Modern Ninja. And I'm out. If you like this video, check out this other one about Moon Knight. Or this one about the Winter Soldier. Either way, I'll see you in the next one.